Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to show you a few things that we went Christmas shopping and got. Um, so of course we got some ornaments. So I got some pink ornaments to add to the collection. I'm switching up the colors a bit because last year it was blue. You might have seen that in the la in the video of last year's um throwback. Um, I got a little bit more blue because I'm going for blue and pink this year. Um, and some smaller pinks. So, you know, get some variation in the shapes. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. Then I got a curtain for the baby's room. His room is going to be blue and orange. Um, so... His sheet set, I think, is rockets or something close to this, and then this is gonna be his because he loves rockets and dinosaur. Um, and this will be our shower curtain. Our shower curtain, this is the pattern that is on it, and I'm drawing from the peach pinky tones because that's what I want the house to be in pinky peach tones in the bathroom. And then I got this picnic pattern kind of tablecloth in pink just to add a little bit more color to the house. As I say, I'm trying to just bring color forth in the house um, this year um, for the living room or our room. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. I have this gray um, window curtains. And these are very nice and simple. And last but not least, for our room, I just got a quilted um, set. So it's just the pillowcase and the quilted cover. You know, just to jazz up the room um, and not do too much. So that will be that for... And I got all of this from Bashko. And do my room. But guys, it's a ramsack in here so it's um it's a total mess so but yeah these are the new things that we got so i'm gonna show you a little bit of what we're doing to get the room the host together for christmas <laughs> little bit of an update in our room curtains are up so I did a half and a half curtains and I got the throw I actually had to go back to Bashko and get it exchanged for a larger one because even this one that is supposed to be a king is very small because I want it to like flood the sides and everything um so I put on the the, the quilt my little through my pillows i need to add my two smaller pillows um and that's it that's it for the room for now my dressers need to be organized and so forth um but the room the bed is the most important part for me because i want my bed to be cute and my little picture and my yeah so we're coming together for the christmas next is the christmas tree Oh, I'm going to show you guys the table, the dining table set up now. So this is the dining table set up. I kept my little tears because one, I don't have nowhere else to put them. And two, they are part of the decor all year round. Um, these are the plates. These are not real plates. They're just here just for the look and yeah my gold 
stuff leaves my fall vibes my dead floor that I, I'm holding on to for sentimental reasons and my runner I don't need to run on the tablecloth is clashing I think it is but I'm just gonna go with it for now <coughs> and so forth so yeah cute then I have to show you guys this cute shower curtain it is so cute and it goes with the mats and so forth well yeah the shower curtain is quite cute hey open open let me fall open <laughs> Yes. Yes, you boo boo. You're so shiny. Oh. DJ, huh? what are you doing? We're making, we're making an ornament. You're making your last project for the school term? Huh? Daddy, hold it up. Let me see. Doyne is making an ornament, eh? Yeah? Yeah. And <laughs> more. And more. Okay. Let me see, buddy. <laughs> Late night project. morning smith family and by the appearance and the gloves it is cleaning day in the smith's house so i'm cleaning today today is friday it's a week before christmas a weekend one day next week saturday is christmas so i'm getting the house spruced up again because you know we did our transformation of the house already curtains are up bedspreads are on I'm going to put back out the Christmas tree because I had to take up the Christmas tree because the little one was manhanged in the poor little Christmas tree. So I'm going to put that back out today. We're going to get some more presents. We have one present for the baby. I guess the parents aren't getting present this year because both of we don't know what we want. Um, and we don't have anybody else to give presents to like that. Um so and i guess tux don't want anything watch him in the bed him living the best life um but today's the last day of school for the baby as well so he's at school he's coming home by 12 so i need to get my butt hurrying and getting this house clean by the time he's he's back home because we're gonna head to price mart today and try and get some things in the rush i'll try and show you guys a little bit of that I'm sorry for the bad lighting, um, but I know that it's going to definitely be hectic. So I need to get my butt clean and out of the house. Babe just went to get some um, bottles, um, what do you call it? You know the, the liquid, the beverage bottles to exchange and get some new ones and to buy some at a lower rate at the, the, um, the outlet. Um, so we're gonna get those to stock up the fridge. I want to get the Christmas cake from Price Mart this year I don't think I've ever tried it um, The Christmas cake. I don't think I've ever tried it. I normally buy from my aunt um, I haven't called her yet to see if she have any I need to do that 
and but anyways i'm gonna get the house clean I'm gonna get myself together to go on the road and tidy up every area and if i have see if i have um wrapping to put the one present that we have for him so far i'm thinking we're going to get two if not three we're going to see if because uh, you know one for each parent um even though we're buying each of them together but you know one pick the two parents it was gonna spoil so yeah um i don't know if babe wants anything i asked him and him said no anything that i would get him would be on amazon and that's a bit too late and like sharing everything with your partner sometimes is like annoying because not like you can bite and them don't know and then having a partner like mine that just buy things when they want it so like for example buying something for his business is like when you can write it off as a tax something for your business so it kind of benefit your business or buying it as a gift and then him always just buying things when him need them you can't buy them because if I'm going to buy it and don't tell him him goodly buy it and then go have two and it unnecessary you know what I'm going to say like buying stuff for him like personally him him do the same thing him just buy things when him need it him, do, him don't just sit down and simmer you know like as females or some people that simmer and say you know should I buy that or contemplate no when him wants something him just buy it no thought no reason he's the he's a spender of this family i'm the miser ish i'm more considerate with my spending but anyways i digress i'm gonna go clean i don't know if i'm gonna show you a montage of that but let's see Did or we call it shopping. It was too hectic. It was too hectic to vlog. But we're here on the bridge. We're gonna do fishing, 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 fishing. So, so the setup here. Nice clean shrimp for the <laughs> fish them. Expensive fish. The rods are being put together by Mr. Mr. Smith. Number two. No, 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 no. God, 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 God. God. The second God, Mr. God, Smith. No, Alright. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm done. Alright, Marshall. Let me use the name. Marshall. Marshall. Jesus. The baby is here as well. Hi. And the view. It's so beautiful. Y'all can't even see. Like, it's so pretty. Yeah, we're there outside. Gonna catch fish. You ready? You gonna catch a fish egg today again? <laughs> you gonna catch a swim around? Alright, sir. So, DJ and I are sitting high above. The men are down there. Their rods out. And there's a family over there at the sidelines. So we're in their line out as well. But yeah, we're here. We are here. Doing? So 
I have world class entertainment while the boys they went a little bit further for fishing they went over the families over there so can you sing a song for me sing another song for me sing a christmas song for me um no please no do a song the a song okay go ahead I thought it was the letter A song, but you spoke a lot about letter B. Oh, what about the letter Z? Good night. All right, so like me and Mr. Munchkin, say hi. Hi. Is in the kitchen, and we're about to do some Jello. Jello. It's the first time we're doing Jello. He has eaten jello, but we have not made it, so we're gonna make it today. I actually want to try and make some heart ones. I'm not sure yet how that's gonna go. How many hearts? How many red hearts? We're gonna do four. Um, no, the water is here, boiled. So I'm gonna pour out a cup. Let me do that and come back because this is hot. Alright, so hot water is poured out. I'm going to let this little one pour it out carefully. So hold it with two hands, please. Pour it in here carefully. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, put down the cup. And here, mommy's going to open this and pour it in there. Wait, baby, we're not ready for that yet. So mommy's going to open this and pour it in. So our package is open. Then we have to be very careful. And it's raspberry flavors as I showed you guys earlier. So I'm gonna pour it in and the little one is gonna stir. So stir it, baby. Let's stir it. So take your time. And the instruction says stir, stir it in the hot water. Take your time, Delaine. Until it, it's fully dissolved. Then we add our cold water, which we have here waiting. So it's getting clearer. And the juice? No, baby, it's jello, so it's gonna be going in the fridge for four hours after. All right, let mommy help you a little. What's this? Is it red? Hold on, let's go a little, baby. All right, do it like this, but take your time. Like, shake it side to side. Take your time, take your time. Um, mm. You're doing it? Alright, I think it's dissolved, fully dissolved. So we're gonna. Let me see. How many hours? Yeah, it's fully dissolved, so now you're gonna pour the cold water in and then stir it a bit. Take your time. Alright. Good job. Stir, stir, stir. I have a little less one. I think I'm going to make a different thing. Mm -hmm. What color is this, PJ? Red. Red. Nice red jello. Uh, sir, can you put your finger in on the something? Yummy. Yummy, yes. I know it's very yummy. So, I'm going to pour out a few into these heart shaped silicone thing and then we're gonna set them in the fridge four hours yes for four hours so we did four 
I will have this much gel left. We're gonna see how this turns out, but I can't wait for this. Let's see. So we're gonna put them in the refrigerator now, and then in the next four hours, that would be night. So tomorrow we'll we'll try it out. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay, so in the evening. It's evening now, so it's a bit too late. We should have done it earlier, but mommy was busy. So tomorrow we're gonna have Jello. No more dipping finger, please. All done? Yes. All right, step down now. Okay, so it's the next day, and we're gonna look at what? Jello. The Jello. All right, we're gonna try the hard ones. They are all set. Ooh. Right, baby? Yes, yes, yes. Should we try and take them out whole? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right, let's see if mommy can get them out. All right. So it didn't come out quite whole, up, and little man broke it even more. Is it yummy? You like it? Um. So I wouldn't recommend doing it in. The mold. I'm gonna take out one more and show you guys. It didn't work, so I actually put the last two in the freezer to see if it will hold together and come out whole. But I, I, I think I might try doing um Jello, no gummy hearts, with that one day and see how it works. But yeah, that's our jelly.